Alright guys, so today I'm going to be going back to the same spot that I went fishing last time, uh, the ditch and then that drainage pipe area. And the ditch I'm going to be fishing for both in, and then the drainage pipe area, uh, really bass or whatever I can catch, if I can catch anything. But mainly the ditch because I'm going back and I'm going to try and catch that huge both in, so stay tuned. So I've got a shaky head tied on to this rod and reel and then a jig tied on to this rod and reel. So these are going to be my main two setups for today. Uh, let me go do a couple things and we'll head on over there. Alright guys, we are here. Um, had to take a longboard ride because nobody in my family's home to take me, which it's funny because out of everybody in my neighborhood, I literally live the farthest away from our lake, uh, which no big deal. But yeah, I'm going to start off at the uh, drainage pipe and then move over to the ditch. hook again. This isn't a big one, but I got one. Yeah, the big one's like twice, the, I mean like ten times the size of this. Alright. I'm going to get a weight on this and then get the release on it. All right, the official weight is 2.38. Wow, I literally think this is the exact same weight of the bass that I caught the last time I was fishing this. All right, now let me get the release on them. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at the teeth on this guy. All right. Let me make sure I don't drop my camera. Alright, hold on. Let me put the camera down. Right, and there he goes. 
and it's getting dark out so I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit him all right guys well I just got back I'm at my house now so caught that two and a half pound bowfin on the strike king hold on let me go ahead and let me show you watch out Alex. I caught that bowfin on the strike king rage tail rage cross and green pumpkin um, I ran out of my structure bug so I had to go to Walmart a couple days ago and that's the only uh, rage tail product that they had so yeah but I'm gonna take a break from uh, ditch fishing for those bowfin for a while I'll probably start it back up I'll probably go back there and catch try and catch that big one in the summer but I'm gonna try and go hunting sometime this month because squirrel season which squirrels is what I mainly hunt is coming to an end at the end of February so yeah but but if I don't I'll try and think of some other video ideas like I was thinking about doing a couple days ago what's in my tackle because um, I've come a long way from uh, I think the, the video that I did of my tackle was called my fishing setup I had like one small tackle box which is what I started off with but now I've got three big tackle boxes so yeah I might do that but if you guys enjoy this video make sure to thumbs it up comment video suggestion ideas anything really but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time peace